Thank you for joining me today as we begin a month-long journey together of going deeper in prayer. Each day we will have a theme, and today's theme is praying to let Jesus come into our hearts. One of the resources that I'll be using frequently this month is this little book which I've used for over 30 years. It's called A Guide to Prayer for Ministers and Other Servants. And I want to begin with some words that uh, were written by Ole Hallisby in his book that was simply titled Prayer that was first published in 1931. Hallisby was a Norwegian Lutheran pastor, a theologian, and educator, and this is what he says about prayer that I want us to start with. He wrote, From time immemorial, prayer has been spoken of as the breath of the soul, and the figure is an excellent one indeed. The air which our body requires envelops us on every hand. The air of itself seeks to enter our bodies and for this reason exerts pressure upon us. It is well known that it is more difficult to hold one's breath than it is to breathe. We need but exercise our organs of respiration and air will enter forthwith into our lungs and performs its life-giving function to the entire body. The air which our souls need also envelops all of us at all times and on all sides. God is round about us in Christ on every hand, with his many-sided and all-sufficient grace. All we need to do is to open our hearts. Prayer is the breath of the soul, the organ by which we receive Christ into our parched and withered hearts. He says, if any person open the door, I will come in to him. Notice carefully every word here. It is not our prayer which draws Jesus into our hearts, nor is it our prayer which moves Jesus to come into us. All he needs is access. He enters in of his own accord because he desires to come in, and he enters in wherever he is not denied admittance. As air enters in quietly when we breathe and does its normal work in our lungs, so Jesus enters quietly into our hearts and does his blessed work there. He calls it to sup with us. In biblical language, the common meal is symbolical of intimate and joyous fellowship. This affords a new glimpse into the nature of prayer, showing us that God has designed prayer as a means of intimate and joyous fellowship between God and ourselves. I pray that image of prayer will be helpful for you as we begin this journey together. That just as the air surrounds us, God's grace in Christ surrounds us, and he enters into every heart that will give him admittance. Please join me as I share a brief prayer. Gracious God, we thank you so much that Jesus stands at the door of our hearts and knocks and waits for us to open our hearts and to welcome him in. And we pray this day that you would enable us to open that door, that Jesus may walk with us, eat with us, and walk with us through this entire day. In his name we pray. Amen. 